Welcome to Cryptography and You. Right now we're working on Rowan, which is based on the Roman alphabet. It's a ciphertext alphabet that uses simple substitution. Episode 5, VWXYZ plus techniques. We start with V, which is fairly easy. Basically, you draw V, and then you loop around like that. That's V. Easy enough. Well, for W, it's kind of interesting. If you remember the M, you draw it backwards in, then you draw a line under it, and there's your W. Right there. That's W. X is, um, I honestly can't remember how I originally drew X. So basically, X turned into this. You draw a line down, you draw a line like that, and then you draw a line over there, and then you draw a line down. You have X. Oh, Y is very, 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 very simple. It's down. And then you take the left one over here, and then you put over, and then down. That's why. It, it, it actually looks like a Y no matter what, so... Really, it's easy. Now Z, you want to do the opposite of what you did for S. is basically a really curvy Z, and then you put lines like that, and you have... A Z. There's some tricks for identifying W and, and M to tell them apart. Figuring it out isn't hard at all. It isn't surgery. I will demonstrate that now. First we have N. It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's forward. It's the only one that goes forward. Well, the other two go backwards. only difference is the line placement. The line placement makes all the difference. As it, as when I designed it, it indicates the middle of the letter. So, if you put a line up here, it indicates the middle, which would mean you have to draw a line like that, which make it an M. But if you do it down here, you draw a line up, which makes it a W. And that's how you tell them apart. If you don't think your code looks secure enough, basically you can start like this. You start with one letter, and then you turn it 90 degrees, so you have... You have something that looks like that, which might possibly make your code harder to read, but probably shouldn't be used for everyday use. This code was basically designed to make it harder to tell what you were writing at first glance. It isn't, to, it isn't really recommended for long-term code break, something that would need to be broken by a code. It's fairly easy to do. And this concludes our video series. Be on the lookout for videos for Lanar and Lanax next time on Cryptography and You.